Hey everybody, Ben Pope here. Welcome back to Planet Coaster. It is Alpha 3 and we are working on some cool uh, park building themed spooky. Pretty much we're getting ready for Halloween. We're going to be the first park ready for Halloween, maybe. But I doubt it because I got these uh, assets from people that have created them on the Steam Workshop. Which means that somebody else has had the idea and um, so on. Uh, what happened is I did build some stuff and I thought I was recording but the audio was uh, not recorded correctly. So I am back with uh, showing off what I put in. This is a blueprint here of what is actually a hyper coaster but it's more family friendly, it's pretty mild and um, you can find it on Steam Workshop if you search for Spooky House and Coaster. The other piece I installed is uh, this one here, Small Ghost Train. And I placed it just over here. And it's very tiny, very kid friendly. And in fact, hardly anyone wants to go on it. Because um, as you can see here, the results say uh, barely any excitement, fear or nausea. No nausea at all, and um, people generally say that it's, it's too too gentle. So um, we're gonna make that one free. I don't know if it's gonna even help at all. No, we're gonna leave it at like three bucks. And um, this one, as it gets dark, we're gonna see it up close. People want to go on this one. Because it's a little bit better, it's not fantastic, but it is um, apparently the coaster queue is full, but it isn't. Because look, they can just walk in. It barely started piling up because I only opened it a bit ago. Uh, so the results on this is meh. There's some fear, there's some excitement, and um, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch this one we're gonna watch it oh wait oh, here we go and uh, people are gonna climb in and we're gonna just be like all right dudes let's look at it and pretty much i want to sit back here to see how this looks from the back but i'm gonna be talking while this is going because i think it's kind of crazy uh to look at it and go what the heck is going on so it's like not very fast, but it is some tight, sharp turns and some steep climbs and drops. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, maybe it's more interesting if I'm in the front seat, but still back here. I mean, look what this person is experiencing. I'm not holding the mouse at all. It's kind of just doing its own thing. And it's uh, quite frightening. Like I would be scared of all the tight turns. If I was on this, like, what is happening? I'm not moving very fast, but, um, look, I'm barely hitting, I'm, I'm almost hitting my head on, on things. And it's just, uh, you know, here's more of a normal coaster, like, st stuff, and then it just stops. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so, fun little coaster, people are gonna have fun going on that. I think the price is... Well, it was set to that from the beginning, but I think I'm going to make it like 8 because my other big coasters are at 10, so we're just going to bring that down. Okay, uh, now you want to see the really, the really crazy one, which I mean is not crazy at all. We're also going to ride the big one that's back there too because we haven't done that. Um, but look, there's a lot of uh, scenery things here, which is nice. And I doubt anyone's going to come over and write it. So we might have to, I mean, it's, it's a loop like that through some densely, I don't even know what to call it. Um, okay, so we're going to go in here and oops, I have to, have to have to start test again first in order for it to, um, to take us anywhere. So we're going to go in the... Uh, in, in the car one, that's fine. I was going to change it. 
So the description of this is that it, it takes you through, um, you know, densely uh, spooky area full of veins, vines and things. And if you look around, uh, granted it is pretty thick in here, and all those would catch you and probably kill you. But um, I thought the design was interesting, and that's why I brought it in. It's probably something that I'll um, just leave here. I could just remove it since it's so bad. But maybe some five-year-old kids are going to be... Look, he's going to chop my head with those. So, you know, the, like ten-year-olds maybe, they'll get a kick out of it. Because uh, they'll just sit in here and go really slowly. Um, and maybe get scared a bit. Yeah, there really shouldn't even be a person on staff there because it's so gentle. So we're going to stop the test and turn on. It's, um, it's likely not something people will want to write, but that's okay. Let's, um, let's write this one because it, it looks pretty cool. It's got a pretty nice rating of, um, the 6.9 excitement and 4.5 fear nausea is down below at 1.3. So um, let's go into seat one. That's fine. Okay. And I'm probably going to just leave it and not touch it to see how it looks. Normally you would be moving your head around, you know, but definitely. Um, do comment down below while this is going. Uh, think about suggestions of uh, what I should do. I could build a whole new, a whole new park, but I'm having fun with this one because it's kind of um, getting all filled up. And I think it'd be cool to keep, you know, putting things in as much as we can. But eventually, I want to start building my own uh, attractions again and when i do that it's going to be back to time lapse videos again is this going to start going i think it's waiting for that other yeah it's waiting for the other train to get to a certain spot it's pretty cool that you can put two trains on it on the coaster which i haven't looked at the other coasters i have to see if i can do that uh if by default like that one over there I fixed that one a little bit. Um, we're gonna have to go see it. It's it's better. It's a better right now. I do like this. That would be fun. I think. We're gonna sideways over here. Definitely pretty cool. There's no wonder there's, there's people piling up to go on this one. It doesn't have... Um, the queue is full, isn't it? It doesn't have like super awesome stats, but it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, you don't get nauseated on it, which is nice. Um, I suppose I could have maybe made the queue a little longer but we'll come back to that later I think I think it's fine for now uh, so really quick on my big giant uh, coaster that is I mean in my my park is very much fantasy nobody's gonna build anything like this or like the hunter down there which I still haven't fixed and I'll explain why in a second uh, so this one I was able to get working I don't know if I talked about it much last time um, but we needed to change the type of track that goes up. Uh, the track that was there previously in Alpha 2 doesn't exist anymore. So I couldn't just change the speed of the launch. I had to make a different track which launches only straight forwards or upwards. No turns. 
so that's different and this took a different turn here coming out and um, generally it is a slower coaster than before um, resulting in slightly less nausea although if you look at the live data the nausea does go up quite a bit in some spots um, overall it's you know kept in the, in the middle somewhere because of the variations on it so that's interesting um, I don't know what the max speed uh, that it catches but excitement is up there and fear is alright and nausea is mild I would say although it's very much up in um, you know in the high numbers most of the time so the queue is full which is I think kind of interesting because I have a quite a long queue coming up this um, mountainous castle that's it's never really been uh, fully finished but look it's it's uh, it's very much hmm Maybe I could pause it uh, really quick. See if I can change the number of trains. No. If I changed the number of cars, maybe I can change the number of trains. Um, priority pass. What is that? See all the people like vanished off the queue, which I don't like that. But um, priority pass. It was like, like a, that's like a whole different queue. Look at that priority pass entrance. That's crazy. Let's go back and disable that. Right. So uh, too bad I can't put more trains on here. Let's see if it kept the results. It did not keep the results sucks I didn't change anything on it guys uh, excuse me it's fine wow really Come on. Ah. That was interesting. That was totally interesting. You wanted to put down another path. Um, or oh, change the path. Come on. Oh, I can't run a test. Maybe I should just do that. Oh, look at all these people. <laughs> wow that's all the people that were in the queue start a test really quick sorry guys you probably paid your ticket and all and uh, then I decided to turn it off okay so um, similar thing happened with this one and after this we're gonna just get going with placing down some more stuff getting ready for Halloween really so again here I didn't fix it yet but pretty much it's too fast and it causes uh, too much nausea and it's too intense for about half the people uh, that are you know possible to go <laughs> look at that uh, so it's too fast it's over 60 miles like all the time which in a way that would be fun right because you're going really fast but uh, the the results are insane because there's a lot of people people are you know pissing themselves with fear and they're vomiting. I don't think anyone actually vomits right as you come as they come out, but um, maybe they do. I don't know. Let's let's see if we can put a bucket over here. Now there's vomit there. Um, tons of vomit. Uh, hopefully you guys can vomit inside the 
things. Please. Please vomit inside here. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But yeah, everybody's uh, puking coming up out of that. So we have to fix that. And we will eventually. Um, let's see if this person has a result. And they do. And look, the live data is still up there. Like, you know, like it goes nuts. But um, yeah. I don't know how much vomit there is coming out of, out of there. Okay, so let's get back to the spooky p spot. We're going to slowly make our way there. And uh, in blueprints, I have a couple of scenery objects that I want to put down. One of them is an entrance to the area. That would be kind of cool to have. Uh, let me see if I can move this tree. First of all, we're going to move that tree. We're going to go back here and select buildings and I think scenery right this is the one I want okay um will it fit without having to move other stuff it's a good question I don't know why uh there are basically oops press the wrong button Basically, the trees are going to be in the way of other trees, I believe, and that's going to make it uh, messy. Uh, in fact, I probably don't want to place this one. I want to place the other one, which kind of fits a little better. Let's find it. That was an easier way to find it. Okay. Yep, don't worry guys, there's a big giant uh, block on top of your heads, but that's okay. You seem to be walking right through it, no problem. wonder if I should leave the floor looking like that, or hide it. I probably will hide it. Just like so. Okay, so now we have an entrance to the spooky place, which is nice. Uh, that tree can move on its own now. Uh, I don't know. I want to be inside that building there. Okay. In uh, this area, I was going to take a path through and um, place something. I was, I was, I was trying to put a, a, the small coaster in there but obviously it's not enough space and there is a shop with uh, first aid and I think that would be cool to have kind of tucked in over here uh, definitely like the park needs a first aid shop and I don't have one anyway yet and having a spooky first aid shop that'd be kind of you know nice and it will kind of fill up this area. I think that's down to the ground enough. Let's go in and see. If I go higher. It's kind of what I want, I think. I don't know. It's fine. Okay, so the first aid shop is down. We need a path. And the path shall be just long enough, really. Just, I guess, just wide enough. Um, there's obviously more space right there that we can work with. I didn't know. Okay, let's see. I, didn't, I didn't, should have been turning earlier. I'm gonna go by this camp and connect to there. And I will never forget 
now that I should put down bins whenever I do make a new path. So bins all around. Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to put there. I do have a couple of toilets and some other shops. I forget what it is. Look how nice it is out here. Well, maybe I'll put this church and graveyard somewhere. How big is it? It's too big to go there. Uh, oh, this might work. Just to have something. But, in fact, I want this in here. Because we don't really have much going on in the center. And... I can probably just put it down. And then move the bushes a little bit. Like so. And maybe spin it. To get the bushes. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I think I kind of like that. Uh, is it hitting the tree on this side? Can always just move it that way a little bit. Right. Now we have some scenery in that spot. Uh, the toilets are... This cave toilet. Which I think would work very well in this corner. Let's see if it will fit. It, it's not going to let me put it in the, in the actual uh, ground. Like back here. But... I think... I think it will be cool to have them. Okay. You know what? Is not it's not placed well enough. <laughs> so control Z on that. Shops. The toilet was here. I just need to put it lower in the ground. Okay, let's do about there and then I suppose that's good. It's two sets of toilets. Uh, golly, how do I do this? Yes, kind of. Okay, let's make this wider. People are going to want to use the toilet by the dozens. So they have to have a, a nice path. And there was one other building that I want to put down. As soon as we get some more bins. Apparently we can't have enough bins. It's just what it is. Uh, the other... The other building I was going to put... Is the hat shop. What the heck is it? And... The hat shop is going to go right over here because it's kind of a, a space that could use a bit of help. Um, but this means I have to move the tree first. So, I put the tree on this side. As much as we can, realistically, to not, you know, have it clip through the coaster up top. And then back to our blueprints for the hair shop. And this kind of just fits in to the area because of its smokiness. And um, let me see. I can bring it farther out, in fact. No, that's not the button I want. Smoke shall be in the ground. I think that's fine. Look at that. Maybe we'll go back to a four. Let 
Okay. And don't forget about our bins. Yay. It was actually kind of uh, interesting uh, putting this path through here uh, when I was when I was doing it. It um, it didn't really want to go through because of the hill, like the angle. I had to move the hill around a bit. The angle of it was just off. I think it looks a lot better now. Um, there's definitely places we can put more decoration and um, just overall stuff. I think I might even have I might even have a fountain. Which one did I put here? That one's with the cemetery. And scenery is what I want. There's another fountain, not this one. Heck. Buildings. Um, the haunted house. I grabbed the haunted house. I want you to see it. Uh, it is. It's quite big. I was like, ooh, that'd be nice to have a haunted house, right? But um, I feel like it doesn't really doesn't really fit the rest of it. So we're not gonna build that. But here's the fountain that I was looking for. And the fountain could go over here, I think. Spin it that way. And bring it in a little bit like this. It's nice to hear the music from that uh, that ride there, and at the same time, I'm I'm wanting more more rides with music. I think that's like the only thing that's sort of lacking at the moment. And I want to move it a bit more, something like that. We need more music. I mean, the only spooky ride music you can have is from this ride, and. I mean, we could put a lot more of these rides around, if you want, but <laughs> kind of, you know, kind of too much of the same ride. Look at that mess. That's a lot of people here. What are they buying? Is that a, it's a drink shop? Other types of shops. Uh, looks like our janitors are not keeping up with the mess. Which kind of makes you wonder, do you hire more um, janitors or do you put more bins? It's always kind of hard to say. Uh, the park management is going to get really interesting, I think, when it's all in and implemented. Um, we, have to, we have to worry about people's um, happiness. So it's going to take us to where they are. And he's not very happy. He's thinking um, money isn't an issue, but... There's a lot to do. So, um, definitely how they feel like. Let's just, uh, you know, randomly we'll go to a staff member in a, in a place. And this person's feeling average today. And look, we can have him trained. All sorts of things you can do with your staff members. So where am I now? I'm inside some building. Okay, I see where I'm at. Yeah. So, there's, uh, there's going to be a lot of managing to, to be done as well when all of it is uh, going to be available. And I think this game is fantastic so far and it is still an alpha. Just imagine what it could do once it's released. I mean, they could release it right now and most people would be like, yeah, that was that was good. That was good. And it is good. Um, we're going to end today's episode here in this spooky place with the spooky house and coaster back there with all those people in the, in the road uh, because I think that's fantastic. 
and um, maybe over here a little bit. I don't even know if I want quite like that. But we're gonna do we're gonna end the episode here, guys. And uh, I do want to invite you to uh, participate with with the with what you can on the channel for the video. Um, leave a thumbs up and a comment with suggestions. And do come back for the next episode, whenever that's gonna be, of whatever playthrough. It doesn't matter. And have a good day. Bye bye.